Hey creator, what if I told you that you could watch your ideas come to life as you type them? Today, we're exploring real-time generation in Sogni. It's so cool. Check this out. All you have to do to turn it on is you need to be using a turbo model, and you know that you are in a turbo model if this is pink here, if your steps is pink. And that works with Flux, but it also if you click this and you go over to the lightning bolt, any of these models are also turbo or lightning ones. You can use the SDXL turbo lightning. These ones are based on the SDXL models, so they are 1024 by 1024. You can use the LCM models, which are based on Stable Diffusion 1.5, and they generate in 768 by 768. We're going to use Flux for this because Flux is excellent. And all you have to do to turn it on is click this lightning bolt right there. And now any changes that I make to any of the settings, any changes that I make to the prompt is going to trigger it to start generating. So if I were to select all of this and delete it, now I have a different prompt and now it's going to start generating something random. I didn't even have a prompt here. So who knows what it could be? There we go. A random photo. Thank you, Flux. Let's do something more interesting. Let's start with a dragon. Nice. We got a Chinese dragon. That's cool. Let's say a dragon made of crystals. We got our crystal dragon. Let's make it breathing rainbow fire. <laughs> That's so cool. We got a rainbow dragon. And by the way, if you want to, you can go ahead and save these. As soon as you start typing, it's gone. So if you have one that you like, make sure to save it. Let's make it flying over mountains and let's have it do it at night. Bam. That's a gigantic dragon. And actually, if we stopped randomizing the seed and just stick with a consistent seed, then as I'm typing, if I decide that I'm typing and I like something that it generated, I can always easily go back to a previous generation just by going back to the prompt that it was. So if I deleted night and it starts generating something else, I can put it back and it's going to give me the exact same image again. And then I can go ahead and add it to the gallery if I wanted to. And then let's try something different. Let's try something related to food. I'm thinking a plain burger. There you go. That's a pretty plain burger. Let's change plain to delicious with bacon and let's put it on a marble table and let's make it. Let's do let's do something crazy. Let's put it in an, an underwater banquet thing. That's actually pretty sweet. I was expecting it to be in water, but that would actually kind of make it gross. So this is this is better than what I had in mind, but I think we can kind of even make it eat crazy. Let's make it pixel art. <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool, actually. And let's do one more different idea here. Let's make let's make a friendly chimpanzee wearing a crown and boxing gloves. I'm just coming up. With, I'm just saying what I think of. Put him in space. Let's make sure he's in space. And then let's surround him by galaxies. Bam. There we go. That is exactly what I had in mind, probably. Now, real time generation is a different way of iterating different ideas that you have. But something cool that you can do is once you have a general vibe that you're going for, you could then turn off real time generation. Now I have the prompt that I want. Let's generate nine of these. And then you could further brainstorm out from there. Look at that. Look at all these friendly chimpanzees boxing in space. Pretty sure that space boxing is a big thing in other galaxies, but uh, it hasn't come here yet. <laughs> You see how addictive that gets? It's like we're having a live conversation with our imagination. I just love it. Now, I'm genuinely curious. What's the first thing that you're going to type when you try out real time generation? Let me know in the comments. And as always, be sure to share your creations with us on all of our socials. And I'll see you in the next one.